Hi guys, today I have something a little bit new, or at least new for me. Um, I'm showing you my project life for 2015. This is week one. I video recorded this um, a little bit ago, so I am behind, but maybe not quite as behind as I possibly could be. So um, like I said, this is week one, um, and I'm doing something a little bit different this year. Last year I used the regular, Oh, I can't remember which design uh, letter it is, but it's the one with the four um, three by fours and then the four four by sixes on each page. But this year, I want to try something a little different. I'm using the Collect app um, and making like little what they look like as Polaroids, and you can kind of see that um, the pictures. Um, they look like little Polaroids, and they have um, journaling in the bottom, and then they have the date on them. And I do that on my phone, and then that way I can kind of keep up with my journaling a lot better. And um, I know exactly what size they're going to come out when I download them. Um, so what I end up doing is I download them or use the PicFrame app, put two pictures, two 3 by 4 pictures on a page, and then print those out at Walgreens. So um, it works out perfectly. And so far this is working really well. Um, I haven't got a whole lot of weeks done. Like I said, I'm just a little bit behind. Um, but I think I'm going to like this a lot better. I don't have to worry about journaling. And if I do get a little bit behind, then uh, my journaling is already on the card. So it gives me a good prompt. Um, the only bad thing about this is that it still doesn't um, um, give me journaling for... Um, the things I don't have pictures for. So I still want to get caught up and be a little bit more on time so I can fill in some journaling for things that I don't have pictures for. So anyway, that's enough of um, me talking about how I'm doing that. Um, so what I'm doing is I took my, uh, uh, what's it called, a project life kit that I got from Scraptastic. It was in a grab bag that I picked up um, during the Christmas time. I think this might be the November um, This Life Noted kit. So um, I'm using these cards and a lot of the embellishments, but I'm also pulling a lot from my stash. So um, you've probably seen me already. I've put a lot of different um, stickers and icons and um, I put that little cork camera in the bottom right and I just cut out a piece of paper that I had some distress stain on to back the little lens part. Um, and here I'm just building up the different layers um, on, my, on my page. So I like the Project Life because I can use a lot of little pieces from my stash. Um, and get a lot of things used up and a lot of those little things like from kits, um, regular Scraptastic kits that I don't use, I can utilize a lot of those stickers and things um, in Project Life so I feel like I'm using up all my stash. So this way I get kind of the best bang for my buck. Um, and also I really like Project Life because I can use pictures that I wouldn't necessarily put on a layout or I don't necessarily need to take a whole 12 by 12 or 8.5 by 11 page. Um, so it's perfect. I just I really like Project Life. It's just a matter of keeping up with it. Um, that's what I struggle with. So I'm hoping that this new um, idea will help me with that. So here I'm just putting that um, card in the top left and the flare was too big and bulky for the inside of the pocket. So I'm just putting that flare on the outside of the pocket and it works just fine and it kind of keeps the picture in the pocket a little better. And here I'm just using my fine liner bottle um, to add some of these embellishments. Um, these came in the kit. They're like a really, really thin chipboard. And I'm just accenting that little sticker that says, um, I believe, sa Saturday, maybe? It's really tiny in my screen, so it's hard to tell. But I think it's a Saturday or Sunday. So here I'm adding my week on the, the top right um, card to say what week this is. Um, and I can't remember. I don't think I actually add the date range. Um, I just keep it really simple. I'm trying this year to keep it very, very simple. Um, do adding embellishments, but not doing too much so that I get overwhelmed and, and can't keep up. So I'm going to use my um, Project Life pen. I'm going to add some details in here on that one bottom left card. Um, I think I just added a little bit of journaling about the day. My daughter was eating uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> it's one of our places we go to pretty much every Monday after we had swimming lessons. We don't do that anymore, but that's what we did. And here I'm just adding some journaling in. And I'm trying to, I fast forward some of these journaling spots um, just so you don't see me writing, you know, paragraph after paragraph because that's not very exciting. Um, so hopefully it kind of moves fast enough um, to keep everybody interested in what's going on. Um, if you guys have any questions about the Project Life or the app or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, put a comment down below and I'll get back with you. Um, again, it's called the Collect app and I love it. Um, if you get the premium version, which you do have to pay for, the, the, the regular version is free, but the premium version you have to pay for, but you get more templates to do different kind of journaling in the bottom or different um, fonts for um, the, the dates and things like that. So I do like that. Um, so I did get the, the higher uh, version of that. 
So here I'm just adding some more journaling on this goodness card and some stickers and I thought this uh, title card looked a little boring so I'm adding a little bit of washi tape in and I actually end up using a lot more washi tape in my project life than I do on my regular 12 by 12 layouts. So that's another um, good thing I like about Project Life. I get to use all the little pieces of, of washi tape. It just seems like it helps to um, make all the different pages cohesive or the different cards cohesive, even if the cards themselves look just a little bit different from each other. Oh, Denali's visiting. I'm always having a cat visit, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Um, So here I'm just journaling away on that card. Um, I really like how that little wood veneer piece accented that, that epoxy sticker. Um, I love wood pieces and wood elements, so um, I love when they come and they get different kits and things. And depending on what card I'm doing, I'll switch it up between a thicker pen and a thinner pen. So here I think I'm using the slightly um, thicker uh, pen, a Project Life pen. I got these from Stampin' Up! And I'm having a lot of problems with them. They seem to leak a lot at the tip area, like right past where the barrel is, where the black part of the tip starts. Um, see, I showed you there that I'm getting all of my fingers. Um, I'm just wondering, do you guys have that same problem? I don't know if they're project because they're Project Life pens from Stampin' Up or, or what's going on, but um, I actually um, returned a couple um, and got some new ones, and the new set is doing the same thing. So I'm curious to see if anybody else is having that problem. I haven't heard of anybody. I like these pens a lot, and I'm wondering if I should just um, just get the regular Project Life ones from Michaels, um, and maybe it's something with the lot or batch that I got from Stampin' Up. I'm not sure, but here I'm just using the Wink Estelle to add a little bit of sparkle to the different areas. I added it to the cart, and I added it to the, um, not the cart, the um, camera, and I added to that ampersand. And here, again, I'm using a lot of scraps from uh, my stash. Here are their labels that I use the actual label piece, but I'm actually using the outline of the label to add some more um, stuff to the page to give a little more color. So, like I said, I use every little piece that I have if I can. I use um, packaging, I use leftover parts of stickers, um, just pretty much anything that I can um, because, you know, why not? I mean, I hate throwing things away, so this way I can... Um, utilize a lot of different things without throwing them away. And I'm going to try to use this other little piece left over that um, I cut off, but I'm going to end up not being able to find a place that really works with. So I'm just going to stick that to the side. And I think I end up throwing that piece away because it is pretty tiny. So here I'm just adding a few little odds and ends on, and then I'm moving to the other right-hand side of the page. So here, these are labels that I cut out. They're made by Caitlin Schaefer. Um, she is a designer, I believe, on the Scraptastic design team. But she, if you go to her blog, she has these labels that you can download. Um, and you can either hand cut them or use the print and cut feature on your silhouette. And maybe Cricut has the same feature. I'm not real familiar with the newer, um, the newer Cricut. But um, I love these labels, and I use a ton of them in Project Life. And they're perfect. They add just what I need and just what I like for a little added um, dimension and things. So here I'm just adding the various labels around the page. Um, a couple of them, the circle one in the top uh, left area, and this bottom one I put on with this, the tiny attacher. Um, I really like also the tiny attacher for Project Life. It's a good um, size <laughs> for Project Life because it's the little tiny pieces. Here are labels, or not labels, letter stickers that I believe are from Basic Gray, and I think I got them in a Studio Calico kit. Um, when I used to subscribe to the Project Life Studio Calico kit back um, in 2000, I guess it was 13, did I do that? 13 or 14, um, maybe maybe halfway through both years, um, I was a subscriber to that kit. And I like Studio Calico a lot. I love the kits for the fact that you can get, you get little ca cards and then you get lots of little bitty embellishments without having to buy a whole pack of embellishments. That was probably my favorite part about that kit club. Um, but I found that a lot of the cards just seemed a little too dull to me. Um, the colors and things like that just seemed really muted, and I wanted something a little more bright, and they just, every month they seemed to come like that. So for me, it just wasn't working. They may have changed up what they look like, but um, it just wasn't my style. I wanted something a little bit brighter, so I ended up switching out. i have contemplating um, getting that um, freckled fawn embellishment kit because I like the idea of just getting a few embellishments and not like, you know, packages and packages of them, and you can just use a little bit because half the time I don't use an entire package of embellishments but um, I haven't signed up for that because pricing I, I get the Scraptastic kit um, the, the 12 by 12 scrapbooking kit so I'm trying to keep the cost as low as possible and if you're, anybody's like me I have like a ton of stuff in my stash so 
Anyway, so here I'm just journaling on the other card. I'm using a Stedler um, pen on this one, I believe. I really like these Stedler pens, and they don't leak on me, so that's another reason I like them. I like the the like the felt tip, like marker type. I would like to use Sharpie markers. That's the, are the Sharpie pens. Those are my favorite, but I'm not sure if those are um, archival and. You know, I, I just want to make sure I'm using something that's archival. So here I'm just using those rub-ons that came in the Scraptastic kit. These are awesome. They rub on awesome. I have no problems with them. They're like butter. I use my fingernail to rub them on. I don't even think I used anything else, and they just came off so, so well. So I am very, very pleased with the um, rub-ons that came in the Scraptastic, this Life Noted kit. So I'm just adding, I added the rub-ons a couple places, um, and I was talking about other things, but I added that um, star label to that um, picture of the cup, or the, the trophy. Um, it says, I won. I was participating in a Fitbit step challenge, and I won for the week, I think it was the week, or maybe the weekend. I was so excited. I was actually participating in a crop that weekend, and so I was sitting at my table, um, scrapbooking, and I'd get up and run a bunch, and then sit back down again, and then go out in the hall and move around. So even with my crop the weekend, I actually got my steps in, so I was very excited about that. And I'm not necessarily the most competitive person, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, sometimes I can get kind of competitive, so it was fun. Um, I'm a happy competitor, though. If I didn't win, I'm not a sore loser, so it's all good, but uh, I was pretty happy. Um, I just added that wood veneer. It's a paper clip, but I didn't want it sitting over the edge of the, the, the card, so I just ended up gluing it straight to the, the circle label. And then I'm just adding some more journaling. A little bit more about the pictures that are on this layout. Um, the top left is a picture of my cat. It's hard to tell, but that's AJ. Oh, and he's visiting. He must know I was talking. Going to talk about him. Um, so anyway, he um, loves, loves, loves to bring socks up from the basement. And he meows and meows and meows and brings them up. And this night, I was packing all my stuff for the crop. And he brought... Um, sock after sock after sock up the stairs and he brings it up and he's all proud I give him a little pat on his head and scratch him and then he goes back down and gets another one so it is so funny that's probably one of his favorite things sometimes we'll wake up in the morning and there are like 10 socks just sitting all over the kitchen and floor in the hallway so he's he's a my crazy kitty so he's my he's my good boy so here I'm just adding that journaling silly kitty and I actually put it in with pencil first I want to make sure it fit um, and it worked out perfectly, so I just wrote over the pencil with my um, with my Project Life pen. And here I'm just adding more of that little washi tape to bring the color, that aqua color, from the left side of the page that I used earlier on my title card to the right side of the page. And then I'm just adding a bit more journaling um, about the week. And so now I needed to fill in a spot right there. I think I had another picture of the trophy, and I didn't need it. Um, I don't know why I made two pages. So um, I went to my stash and got this Project Life card. It's a Becky Higgins card. Um, I just pulled that from one of the core kits that I had. And I'm just adting a few more pieces of embellishment here. And this that's pretty much um, sums up the layout. Um, I'm going to show you some stills in just a few minutes. Um, if you like the Project Life videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments about um, these particular videos, let me know. Um, I also have 12 by 12 process videos that you can watch. Um, they're on different playlists. So if you have any questions, just give me a call. Or give me a call. Jeez. <laughs> Send me a message on Facebook or on um, YouTube. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>